Ted, so good to see you. You brought a fun race here, like a horse race. Yes, yes, that's correct. So this is a horse race that I had built. Um, I'm based in Louisville, Kentucky, which is famous for the Kentucky Derby. So naturally, I had to do a tribute to that. But not only that, but also make sure that it's actually moving and racing. So the goal is for a, a random outcome, which I'm still trying to achieve. But basically, the principle is it's working on friction. So the axle pushes the lane forward, and there's a rubber band underneath that snaps it back. And that's all it takes to move them forward. And at the very end, the flags will flip up to indicate who has won the race. And so typically it had been number three to win, but now it's in fifth place. So I'm getting my goal of getting them more random. But number two is always the last lane. So I hope you don't like green because that will be the last color that crosses the line. Of course, I would like to know how it works. Okay, as I mentioned, um, and I'll try to do this as I'm holding the mic, but this, there's an axle here and the hand crank I used to try to test it out in the beginning, but there's an axle that goes across here um, and this lane, it's built like this. So this axle part is hitting, uh, a cam is hitting this, this plate, pushing it forward. And then I have a rubber band here wrapped around the bar at this location that springs it back. And so that's all it takes. And the other thing I have at the very end is a backstop to limit the motion from going backwards. And then at the very end, um, I have a linkage mechanism so that when it crosses the finish line, it flips the switch up so you can really tell who actually won and there's no debate. So it would be lovely to see one more race here, but I would like to know, uh, is this kind of realistic? So are such, I would call it like tracks out there because, I mean, I know, I mean, I've seen similar things, but they might be longer, right? Uh, that is correct. Um, sometimes we'll do an oval, so naturally I'm, I'm kind of limited in this mechanism, so I kind of left it as a straightaway. Um, so, but I think that people can appreciate the drama of seeing a horse like the red one here taking the lead at first, um, but then you see the black one kind of surging and the bright light orange, which I prefer to call yellow, but you know, that's the way it is. Um, you can see that's lagging behind, but now maybe the red's going to make it all the way across. I don't know. Um, like I said, number three had been the leader and number two the slow, but now they're trying to be the, the battle for last place versus first in this round. Um, and it looks like it'll be number five that completes the race first, then four. Um, so yes, it's been random. I think uh, hopefully we can watch back uh, the first race to see that the results were different. And two is no longer the loser. Now it is number lane three. Ted, this is a lovely build. Thank you so much for showing us all the details here and enjoy the show.